Welcome, and thank you for joining us for our virtual community campaign kickoff, This Is Us. These are interesting times we live in, and I'm thrilled that we can all be together, even if it's virtually. I'm Jan Levinson, chair of the Jewish Federation's community campaign, working alongside my partners, E.T. Kaplan Goldstein and Debbie Resnick. Thank you to our platinum sponsor, PNC Bank, who will present the PNC Community Builders Award to Charles Porter and Hillary Tyson later this evening. Most of us can't remember a worldwide crisis like this in our lifetimes. Fortunately, we have a strong Jewish community and a strong Jewish federation to lead us through. The strength of our Pittsburgh Jewish community is no accident. We built it over the course of decades, and so much of that work happened because of your support for the community campaign. Giving through the unrestricted community campaign, which has the flexibility to adjust as the crisis unfolds, remains the best way to reach the 56,000 Jewish community members in Pittsburgh and millions around the world. The Jewish Federation combines your gift with dollars from our Jewish Community Foundation, corporate sponsorship, private foundations, government grants, and other private giving to multiply your impact many times over. In this moment, when so many people need help, your gift gets to more people through the community campaign. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Now I'm pleased to introduce Lou Sestello, head of the regional markets, regional president of Pittsburgh and Southwestern Pennsylvania at PNC, who will present the PNC Community Builders Award. Thank you, Jim. Once again, PNC is proud to be a platinum sponsor of the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh, and I am honored to be with you today to present the PNC Community Builders Award. PNC gives this award to recognize Jewish Federation leaders whose volunteer efforts have resulted in a stronger, more vibrant Pittsburgh community. This year, you have seen a lot of attention on diversity and inclusion. At PNC, we have been focusing on this work for decades. We believe that promoting and advancing diversity and inclusion is about celebrating our distinctive cultures, traditions, and personal attributes that makes each of us unique individuals. You might have seen in the news recently, we announced a $1 billion commitment to help solve issues related to racial inequality and social justice. In addition, PNC has served minority communities with financial services and has provided resources to develop ideas, advance development initiatives, and encourage leadership in nonprofit organizations. In this context, I am particularly pleased to present this year's PNC Community Builders Award to Hillary Tyson and Chaz Porter. I am sure you know about their extensive, long-standing volunteer work in the Jewish community, but you may not be aware that they have both worked on diversity and inclusion and on promoting the arts and secular organizations. In addition to working in the City of Pittsburgh's Department of City Planning, Hillary served on the Board of Trustees and Advisory Committee of FAME, the Fund for Advancement of Minorities Through Education. She has also served on the boards of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater, and the Society for Contemporary Craft, and she has also chaired the board of the Ellis School. Chaz has served on the board of the Opportunity Fund, which gives grants to small and mid-sized arts organizations, as well as the boards of The View, the Giant Eagle Foundation, and the Beacon Foundation. It won't surprise any of you that the list of volunteer activities Hillary and Chaz has given their time to in the Jewish community is amazing and so long that I'm only able to hit the highlights. At the Jewish Federation alone, the two of them seem to have done just about everything. As well as being longtime Federation donors, both have served as board members with Chaz serving most recently as vice chair. Hillary volunteered on the Federation's Israel and Overseas Commission and served on the Classrooms Without Borders board. She also chaired the Holocaust Center Board and Chaz served on their executive committee and chaired the Grand Opening Committee. Chaz is a longtime volunteer for the Jewish Federation and he chaired the Federation Centennial Fund for a Jewish Future, the Pittsburgh Jewish Chronicle Task Force, the Federation's Investment Committee, Building Committee, Budget and Finance Committees, 
and the list of his committee memberships goes on and on. Also in the Jewish community, Hillary is a founding member of the Jewish Women's Foundation and serves as an officer on the JCC's Board of Directors. Hillary has chaired the JCC's largest fundraiser and played a sizable role in the JCC's community advocacy related to education and gender violence. Chaz has volunteered on the boards of the Jewish Assistance Fund and the Jewish Association on Aging. Hillary is a 2015 recipient of the JCC's Rogal Russlander Leadership Award, and Chad has received the Israel Bonds Colel Award. Please join me in congratulating Chaz Porter and Hillary Tyson on receiving the 2020 PNC Community Builders Award. Congratulations. Thank you, Lou. Hillary and I are honored to accept this award, which represents an important partnership. We thank you and PNC for all you do for the community. As illustrated by your recent commitment, more than $1 billion to help end systemic racism and support economic empowerment of African Americans in low and moderate income communities. PNC is committed to driving real change, to put capital and employee volunteerism to work in the communities you serve. And thank you to Federation, to David, Jeff, and all the staff and volunteers who work every day to make a difference. Federation works to help so many, caring for our elderly and ensuring that the most vulnerable are cared for, addressing food insecurity, and providing career assistance Maintaining a strong connection to Israel and during this troubled time, it's given over $1 million in COVID relief funds to seniors, vulnerable populations, and children, teens, and their families. We are in distinguished company. In President Barack Obama's own words, pandemics have a way of cutting through a lot of noise and spin to remind us of what is real and what is important. The COVID crisis has reminded us what is real and what is important. This crisis has reminded us that caring matters. We both came from families that cared. They cared about family, about community, and about making things better. Without fanfare, just doing what needs to be done. One example comes to mind. After returning home from serving in the Air Force during World War II, my father met a group of Holocaust survivors who had recently come through Ellis Island and settled in Pittsburgh. He helped them to learn English and to find housing, and he employed them in his business, allowing them their first opportunities to work in America. They continued to work with him for decades. As Gayla LaMarie said, volunteers are paid in six figures. S-M-I-L-E-S. -E Smiles. My mother cared about families and children and volunteered actively to improve their lives. At the National Council of Jewish Women, she worked with other women to create the children's rooms in the courts, one of the NCJW's largest community service programs. It has served thousands of children and families with court business and jurors each month. It's called Tikkun Olam. It means repairing the world. It means giving back. Hillary and I have been privileged to work with many lay and professional leaders in many extraordinary organizations. We are grateful for this privilege. We will relish every moment to continue this work in our own small way. We thank you for this award. Thanks again to PNC for being such an incredible partner over the years. And congratulations to Chuck and Hillary for this so well-deserved award. I've worked with Chuck very closely here at the Federation and with Hillary at the Holocaust Center, and these are two people who make an incredible difference. Thanks as well to our community campaign lay leadership, Jan Levinson, Ellen Terry Kaplan Goldstein, and Debbie Resnick. Your commitment to this community is an example for all of us. I'm Jeff Finkelstein, President and CEO of the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh. I wish we could all be together in person today, but the reason we had to present virtually is also the reason that the Jewish Federation's community campaign has never been more important. In a moment, 
I want to speak to you about what's going on in our community. But first, I'd like to share a short video about this moment in Jewish Pittsburgh's history. Where is Jewish Pittsburgh? Where is Jewish Pittsburgh? Not in a building or a synagogue. Not in a classroom or a neighborhood. Where is Jewish Pittsburgh when we can't get together? It's not in a place at all. Jewish Pittsburgh is in our living room when we are visiting family from the couch. It is in our schools, even when school has moved to the dining room. It is in our communal meals, even when we cannot pass the brisket. Jewish Pittsburgh is in our homes. When our pets join in on the learning. Can you hear me? When we travel to Israel without a plane. When we pray together at a distance. Jewish Pittsburgh is in our hearts. When we try to connect with people who live alone. When we celebrate. Even when we have to social distance. When we support everyone. Even when we cannot come closer than six feet. And wherever Jewish Pittsburgh is, the Jewish Federation is there. With your support, the Jewish Federation brings people together during times of uncertainty. Help people affected by this crisis. Make sure the Jewish Pittsburgh we love is here for us when we can gather again. Well, I hope you have fun, and I hope to see you soon. Please give to the community campaign now. Stronger Together. I've been saying this phrase for almost two years. After we witnessed the worst anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history against three of our Jewish congregations, we came together to support each other. Not all of us felt strong. Many of us still do not feel strong today. But we realized then that we are stronger together. Stronger Together permeates our Jewish thinking. I think of the teaching from the Talmud, Ko Yisrael Arivim Zebazeh, all Jews are responsible one for the other. Today, I ask you to come together one more time as we face another crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic. When COVID-19 forced us apart, Stronger Together became more important than ever. COVID-19 upended daily routines, crushed our support networks, and most importantly, deepened the crisis for countless people in our community who already needed care. It created unprecedented job losses and financial distress, spawned health challenges, overwhelmed agencies, severed connections to Jewish life at a time when people truly need meaning in their lives. Upwards of 7,000 previously thriving Jewish families in Pittsburgh face pandemic-related challenges, and multitudes of Jews in Israel and around the world are suffering too. How do we get through this once-in-a-lifetime crisis? By recommitting to stay stronger together. We must unite for those whom the crisis has weakened, and that's what the Jewish Federation works to do every day. We help lead the crisis response, bridge communication across Jewish agencies, and bring relief to people who are suffering. The Jewish Federation is watching out for the best interest of our entire community, mobilizing support and responding to new concerns. Now more than ever, we cannot do it without you. Thanks to the strength of our donors, volunteers, and agencies, we responded quickly to immediate pandemic emergency needs. But we're going to see vast short and long-term effects. I ask you to give today to the Jewish Federation's community campaign to sustain our Jewish community and literally save lives. And I ask you to leave a legacy through the Jewish Community Foundation in your will, trust, or estate plan so that we can face any future crisis with strength, even long after we are gone. Why give together through the community campaign? First and foremost, you can get help to the people who need it most. Unrestricted giving enables our Jewish community to have the flexibility to adjust as a crisis unfolds, and you have seen how fast our current crisis has been changing. As Jan mentioned, your giving also goes further through the community campaign. 
We give together so that we can help more people than any of us could alone. Check your email right now to see how you can make your pledge through the Jewish Federation. Call 412-681-8000 or check the information on the bottom of your screen. What will your money do? Identify areas of greatest need, coordinate services across our community to help, support vulnerable populations here and worldwide. Find new ways to connect people to Jewish life, rebuild and reimagine what we will need after this crisis fades. Check your email right now to see how you can make your pledge. Go to jewishpgh.org or call 412-681-8000. Check the bottom of your screen. You have until December 31st of next year to complete payment. We can and must meet this challenge together. By joining our hearts to stay stronger together, we will plant the seeds for a bright Jewish future here in Israel and in Jewish communities around the world. When we finish reading a book of the Torah, we say a phrase that I think has meaning here. Chazak, chazak v'nit chazek. Be strong, be strong, and may we all be strengthened. Thank you for your support. I now welcome Dave Suffren, the chair of the board of the Jewish Federation. Thank you, Jeff. I'm David Suffren, chair of the Jewish Federation's board. As a longtime supporter of the Federation, I really appreciate the work you, the staff, and the many, many Federation volunteers are doing to coordinate the response to COVID-19 and get our Jewish community through the crisis. It's times like these that I am reminded why it's so important to have one organization looking across our community with everyone's best interests in mind. I had the honor of serving on the committee that helped to distribute over $1.2 million in immediate pandemic relief funds, and I saw firsthand the Jewish Federation's efforts to increase the effectiveness of our beneficiary agency's work to help people in need and to connect everyone to Jewish life. I also realized the magnitude of the need right now, like nothing I have ever seen in Jewish Pittsburgh. If you have not already made your commitment to the Federation's community campaign, I urge you to join me in making a gift today. It's now my pleasure to introduce the next part of the program. The Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh is one of 146 federations across the United States and Canada, united through our national partner, the Jewish Federations of North America, or JFNA. One of the amazing things about being part of this national system is that we are able to pool our resources and make the biggest impact in the Jewish world. Tonight, we have an amazing opportunity to partner with JFNA for a star-studded program coming up next. Follow the instructions on your screen and enjoy. Thanks again for your support.